Alrighty, how's it going, everybody? It's me, Soul Supreme, and welcome back to some more Dog Days. Hmm. You know, uh, in my little break, I was deciding I probably might switch over to the learning tree just to help start converting these drowned god prophecies because they're bastards. Uh, because uh, kind of already got chunk of the way here um shoot mess focus or actually what's my health looking like uh, i might be kicking a bucket soon uh how's my son he's 13 ah uh, damn look he has to live three more years okay look i'm gonna do medicine focus and then like go to alfia loja i want to see if i could at least stretch this out stretch out uh the time it takes for me to die so i can get my son a good little spy um you still want some more gold sure all right honestly help me convert i'm gonna try to like uh get rid of this like freaking nonsense down here my brother died. Oh, he died a leper? Good God. He had a son, Antario. Wait, so Antario moved over here. Man, Antario. You inherited. Hell yeah, man. I, I'm sorry I put you on this, like, godless island. Who saw me well, Antario? Hopefully. Hopefully. In the flanks of my throne room, I can hear Kennel Master Lord Crispin of Blackmark engaged in an intense negotiation with Marlin over the sale of a beautiful peregrine falcon, a highly prestigious bird for anyone to own. Crispin seems to be struck on haggling the price, but the falconer refusing to budge, and from the frustration in both their voices, they've been at this for a while. I can say I can make a better offer. Hmm. Crispy. Hmm. This make honey cheaper. Well, I don't got enough gold. Yeah, I could try to pass it. Yes, he succeeded in negotiating. Good. That's all we can hope for in the end, right? Uh, how is Dragon Star keep going? It's going well. <laughs> <laughs> Let me like just start saving up uh, some more gold. We're already uh pretty wealthy. I'd say we're probably one of the wealthiest families in all of the land, if not the wealthiest aside the Iron Throne. Hmm, actually, I think we are the wealthiest. Period. How's Miles doing? Well, my grandson Lemos has become a knight. Okay, Prince Miles, I can't wait, Lydia. Lydia, you are going to go play game. We will rule Iron Throne one day. Just have to marry the good Prince Miles. How's my boy? I need to find you a wife uh, as well. Hmm. Ooh. Aria of Gate during them. Hmm. I think I will probably go with you, dear lass. Trina is also good, but I think uh I'll set you up with her. I'll get the patrol a little set. Need to find you a nice good wife. Good love. I can just give you one good kiss. Will not be my soulmate. Or my heart belongs to Lady Rissia. She's the one that makes 
well worth it. How how quickly are we um you know, shebang? Shebang going at a steady pace. Um do I got anything to make this a bit quicker? Uh, book-wise, not really. Okay. Oh well. Yeah, let me go on a hunt. Um, also I can commission an artifact. Uh, yeah, I guess I can get something like some cheap furniture made. I also okay, spent a little bit of money, but. This will all be worth it. They still hold a keg of wine and drink most of it. Now, look at them drunk as lords, both of them. They can barely stand, she says angrily. It seems as if my ward has fallen uh, to peer pressure, but at least she and Lane seem to be thick as thieves. Okay. Or I can make her temperate. Yeah, I'm going to make you temperate. And we have a good chance of uh, living a nice, healthy life. Hmm, I could get my gold refunded. Um, Lord Berger can go F off. Uh, the High Septon. I don't... Uh, I don't really need you right now. Um, I'll take the gold. Uh, yeah, give me some of my gold back. Um, Let's see. Greetings, my implacable vassal. How would like for your grandson, Creston Clegane, to become the squire of Edric Wade? Ooh, another of the Queen's Guard. Okay, sure. So, go, lad. Be a dear scout. Uh, and I need to find you some. Oh, yeah, Lady Elite. Uh, I guess the old Septon died. Uh,. Here, your your sister will help educate you. Oh, the poor girl. <laughs> Holy crap, you're zero across the board. Uh Ah. Huh. Uh yeah, yeah, I could find I, Lord. Don't worry, your daddy will find someone. Diggory Gargolin? They're up in the Riverlands. I can set up a marriage between you. You can have her. She's not the sharpest tools of shed, but hey. As long as you take care of her, keep her out of my hair. Hey? Hey? <laughs> my lord. Un, uh, huffs unwin as he marches up to me, hauling my daughter Lily about here. This dreaded child has been lying in wait around corners, wearing wolf skin for a costume, scaring people. Gets abused, or I can say Lily get guilty, be punished. Yes, dear girl, you be punished. It's not a proper way for a young lady. Here, can you teach her Valerian? And also, I could try to impart values on her. Let me see if I can make her zealous. Yes, I it worked. I turned her zealous. You shall you should keep the faith of the seven strong when you're on the throne. <laughs> Look, I created this zealous house. But he's oh, and of course he becomes cynical. <laughs> Wonder how that came about. Maybe your uh, oh, must have tossed you there. Hmm, advanced robbers, martial education. Yeah, let's do that. Let me go from there. Demand artifact. The Greyjoy Dynasty banner. Sure, I'll well no. No. Sp 
spit on House Greyjoy. Chaos, you're rot. Spit on ye. Conversation over cakes. Uh, I'm strolling back on a short foray to Castle Rock when we unexpectedly run across my cousin, Lady Elwyn, in her retinue, smoking around my capital on unannounced business. Ah, Crescent, I was hoping I'd run into you. Come, found the most delightful little taverner just a short ways from here. Would you care to join me for some big radiant herbal infusions? And is she Sophie's cakes? Hmm. I can do the cosmic insights. And Tybalt died. Let me see. Uh, I can actually hold court. I don't think I've done that so far. Hmm. I can make them duel each other. Civic count. Uh, yeah, but this won't help me lose stress. Master Rolling and Lionel will go to a duel. Sure. Duel? Master Lionel wins the duel? Hmm. Presence. The seven points I could give you. Over Rich. And she is a bandit bitch. Okay, here, Lady Elwyn, take some gold. Deal with it. I got a little bit extra. I could like help boost up Casimir. What's my boy doing? Right, he's 14 years old. Hmm. Here, I'm gonna dedicate this to my uh, former wife who died in childbirth. That way, she will always remain close in my heart. Hmm. Let's see, upgrade this. Still got like a nice cushion of gold. I am surprised she only had two children. And Miles, he's at least coming of age. She's a dutiful captain and flexible leader. All right, here's your wife. There you go. And what in Ontario is going on? Uh, do, 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 do. All Lord Ontario's holdings is uh, faster. Oh, yeah, the Lord of the Seven Hells children must be driven out. I'll pay for that at least. Yeah, I'll pay for it. At least you'll help get rid of the freaking drowned gods nonsense. And it looks like I can slap this statue down. Sorry. Don't worry, I, I'm almost there. We're making steady progress converting the faith over here. Yep. Definitely trying to boost up like Castle Rock as much as I can. Rid of them. Oh, well, yeah, we're we're a pretty mighty fortress. And he grants himself submission. Yep. So this is actually like a nice uh, chill period of the game. Um. All right, I don't have enough money. I'm trying to save up for that. Other things. Hmm. Okay, I can 
my plane across. Riverlands is having a little bit of Liberty War. Again, it's kind of like making sense seeing as how they're we just the wrong faith and everything. Yep, this is the curse of the drowned god. Alright. Ceres died in a jousting accident. Good God. Wow, there goes my Captain Lagarde. I guess Master Lionel, you could be the captain. He came of age. The brilliant general, skilled fighter, and was just great. Set up the marriage. There you go. Now I can like also focus on raising Gregor. Keep the martial focus as well. There you go, Robert has been knighted. Good work, boy! Game of age. You will, will hopefully uh, roll well and wise when it is your time. Yes, boy, when it is your time. Hope that you will be wise in your rule. I am leaving, Father. Me and Lynette are in love. Uh, what? Wait, what? You roll your eyes at Robert. What is your fool of a son up to now? Lynette and I will seek adventure. The world is vast, and there is glory to be found. I wish to shout game bread at the world. Uh, boy, I think if you shout that in the street, someone's gonna walk up to you with a stick and beat you in public. <laughs> Until they remember my name. It's evident that my beloved son is being serious. I'm gonna have to do something. Who the fuck is Lynette? No. Robert sees it. I'm not gonna pay him. He'll be back soon. You'll, you'll see. He goes out and it divorces the very various Lynette. Uh, goes off on an adventure for 20 years. I can tell. Listen here. There'll be glory at home. Yeah. Come here. He says, Come here, son. I believe this is time for some tough love. No. <laughs> oh, God. This is so bad. I don't want to beat him to death. But well, even though this is not a duel to the death, I don't want to hurt him. Like, look at me. I would probably kill him. Yeah, this is glory to be had at home. Robert gives up on his hopes and dreams. Wow, that sounds even more depressing. Yes, boy. I get it, but like, listen. The wife, she's she's really attractive and all that stuff. Yeah, just, just get your ass, get your ass back here, okay? We're going on adventures and stuff. Westerman and Reachman cultural acceptance goes up, and oh, foreign merchants. This is like from another mile. Oh, did they? I wonder if this is like. Yeah, I wonder if this is all like, you know, it seems like this is also a bundle of mods, but wait, if I go here. Oh, you can boost this up to that? Twenty years. Here, I want you to do that. Build up to expanded docks. That one's gonna be better. In the long term, that one's a permanent game. Hedge Wizard Prophet. An odd man has arrived in my court today, looking more like a vagrant than a courtier. The man announces that he is a hedge wizard and declares he could be of use to me. My guards begin to move to throw the hedge wizard out of my court. It's crazy. All right, what do you got to say? 
Uh, the hedge witcher emptied a bag of various animal bones onto the floor and began talking to himself. After a while, he stood up and declared that White Harbor would be in desperate need of fur soon. All right, I'll, all right, let's see where this goes. If this dude does anything stupid, I'm going to beat him to death in public. <laughs> oh, wait. I received news that the shipment of furs I sent to the White Harbor had sold for an exorbitant price. Apparently, a storehouse containing thousands of pelts went up in flames just prior to my own arriving at port. I can't believe he was right. Ooh, okay. That turned 20 into 200. It's amazing. Good. I I'm glad I didn't have to beat anyone to death, but it's... And my son is out here, like, talking about going on adventures. Here, why don't you educate, um, grandson? That's your squire. You're a knight boy. You're Sir Robert. Hmm? What is this? Though the old way of the Ironborn was outlawed in Westeros when Aegon and Balerion burned Harrenhal during the conquest, ending the Hoar line, there are still those on the islands that cling stubbornly to the tradition, willing to risk life and limb for glory, wealth, and adventure. For the most part, they refrain from raiding Westeros, but some of the particularly ambitious or perhaps foolhardy reavers will attack our shores. Long ships have been sighted off the coast of Irongrave. Hmm. I will lead the force myself. What's going on over here? My daughter learned Valerian. Yeah, she's coming along nicely. You see, you see, son, you should be like your your good old dear sister. She's over here. She knows where she can go and whatnot. You, on the other hand, I don't know why the hell you're in Sage Oh yeah, that's where that dumb girl was. Yeah, you're just hanging out around here. Yeah, who was that? That was like... Yeah, I have no idea who that girl was, but it's apparently someone in his court. I don't know if that was like his sister or whoever that was. Smoke on the horizon. Uh-oh. The evidence of the raid on Irongrave is visible long before the town itself. The sky is heavy with smoke and screams. It can be heard as we begin to draw closer. I push my men to march harder. Charge, men! You're wounded while fighting Todrick's men. The ferocity of the Ironborn Raiders forced your line back time and time again. Though there's no way they would have been able to keep this pace indefinitely. This is a raid, not an invasion. Whilst I and my men are holding the main line of the Raiders, others continue to plunder the markets and houses of Iron Grave. I'll fund the recovery. I'm, I'm severely injured. Oh, no. Actually, do I have a... I can have my grandson marry him. Hmm. Ooh. He needs to be knight. Uh, yeah, do I have... Isn't a Meister the court physician? Yeah. Heal me! I've been wounded. I'm on my deathbed. I went to go deal with the iron boy. This is the front that gets gone. Uh, uh, Unwin Gaze the trade physician. Listen, you son of a bitch. Here, I need you to heal me. I'm dying. Mysteries of the Seven Pointed Star. My daughter Lila and her friend uh, Gerana had taken a copy of the Seven Pointed Star from the study and brought it into their playroom. Lila tried to read it, but quickly realized that the words therein were best left for the Scepter. She seems completely content with her current inability to understand the deeper meaning of the book. Yes, help! Uh, son! Son, I'm dying! Don't come back home! Please! I'm on my deathbed. Eldrin has become knighted. That's beautiful. Oh, speaking of beauty, uh... Oh, uh, great. Let me see. Uh, I could promote culture. Oh, wait, no, 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 not promote culture. Promote cultural acceptance. Yeah, do that for me. Please. 
Help me. Uh, join you in a liberty war. All right, I I can throw, I can assist. You are an ally. This is a completely defensive war. Hopefully, it looks like I can land right over there. Wouldn't it be cheaper? Well, yeah, hang on. Let's see, uh, switch you to that. And then try to sail this way. Can't I? Wait, I can't sail around Dorn, can I? Oh no, I can. Probably gonna be a while, but I can, I can make it over here. Oh, I just died. Oh, no. This is horrible. You can do that. You can do that. Uh, you can do that. I just need you guys to help help me manage my realm. All right, do manage domain. Um, try to boost some of my stewardship. I know I need like twice as much stewardship. Rule this land. Hmm, who can I give this to? My brother. Yeah, I could grant this land to my brother. I'll continue my sister's education. All right, Gregor. Pride to Gregor. That is ultimately fine. I got a Liberty faction. Uh oh. Hmm. I can. I suppose I can lower the. Hmm. I'm gonna have to actually stay back. I'm gonna try to like, I gotta stay back and manage my realm. I'm sorry I can't help you, but right now I'm in a situation. Actually, this, won't, this actually isn't so bad. Uh, What I can do. You're a golden too. I can. So I'm gonna have to deal with this situation real quick. It looks like I have to deal with this civil war that's brewing. Yeah, we got a civil war brewing. Not a damn thing I could do to stop. Well, actually, I need all the gold I can. Gather in the progress of converting. I could offer my wife a knighthood. Well, she is strong. But here, yeah, I shall romance you. Ah, uh, looks like I'm gonna have to prepare to wage war. My throne.
Oh. I still got Skull Cleaver. Hmm. Replace that with this. Uh, for right now. Yep, I still I still got my uh great artifact skull cleaver. You want this? What? I'll, I'll allow it. I don't really need it. I'm sorry, uh, Warden. But I need all this as much as you need this. I've been appointed Warden of the West. Okay. I can, I can, I can finagle something. I can revoke her title. Some land back here. Still not the most, like the greatest of lands, but it's still something where I could uh, manage a bit of a realm. Okay. Help me. My wife is pregnant. Petition my liege. Actually, uh, I should pay homage. I have nothing to give you, my queen, except my sword. I have to make sure my, uh, thing. Uh, rings balance. Hmm. Really have no opportunities right now to even consider, uh, an alliance. Yeah. You been Antario? You're up against me. Wait, what is this? Is this a just a Liberty faction? Well, if they do the ultimatum, I'll I'll go down. And Oh, you're a city. I refuse. Oh, I get a pet cat. She's a dog. Uh, let me get the dog. My name. Oh, I can even snow, but. <laughs> This is uh, about to be pretty brutal. I could ask her to break up a powerful faction. This could help me. Then she gets a weak hook on me. I'll accept. I'll accept just for the stability of my realm. Uh, I'll accept that just for stability's sake. Making nowhere near as much uh, gold right now. But I could like, use this time of peace to try to fix everything. Yes, I inherited at this young age of 17. At least the popular faction gets me uh, broken up. 
Oh no. This isn't good. Uh Yeah, Lord Renly of the Stormlands is actually on the back foot. And I can't send my forces over there. All because I got se severely wounded by the damn Greyjoys. <laughs> hey, you know what? Wait until this is done. Wait until we're done converting this. I'm going to get my revenge. And he's about to lose his war. Swordsmanship. Yeah, I'm still focus on fixing this place up. Schemes, romance gains kindness. Lord Bertrand. Oh my goodness. I'm actually, you know, I'm gonna just go. I think I already got a hundred percent with you. Yeah, let's just use this time to build up the realm. I went from making about 50 gold a month to now we're at 17.6. Uh, yeah, you can have this, Quincy. I don't mind it. Like, some of this stuff, like, I wouldn't mind giving away. Some of it, not all. And the sad part, yeah, the Stormlands, he's gonna let's lose this war, but it's a small Liberty War. It's not thing too terrible. Hmm. Yeah, but I'm gonna cut through these people. If you wait, I'm gonna get revenge on the Greyjoys. Media lean. And the key to combat, decisiveness often what separates victory from defeat. Aggressive attacker. Flexible leader. Whatever. Aggressive attacker. Duel. Yeah, it looks like my uncle is not going to be willing to... Ally me. This is where my daughter comes into play. He's the only son. And right now, my daughter is like the only child I have. Mm, we're gonna have to just sit this one out. Oh well, I'll just wait till I finish converting Castle Rock. Again, I have to like, uh, I have to secure my realm. generating some more gold is my my vassal taxes are starting to come back online uh, here promote cultural acceptance wait let me make sure did, did I say you okay I'll, I'll sit that one up I'll continue to build up this holding at least I always have a fallback holding if anything uh 
I can always like fall back to here in Golden Gate. I even entered a tournament. I got to get some prestige. Chill that I'm not only... Oh, look. My beard came in. Chill. I'm not afraid. Hmm. Study no battle or get the end. What? She switched me to high levy contribution. That's okay. Oh, I still see we got a little bit of overlap from the regular game of Thermopylae. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be able to renegotiate this later on. Actually, I, oh damn, I could have actually done it. Well, she would have to die, but um, my sister, she's about to come of age. Miles looks like he's lived through childhood. All right. Looks like I'm about to fight Lord Amen. I gotta, I gotta prove myself. Um, hmm. We're gonna go down there, gallant. Uh, I'm gonna place a bet. I'm gonna place a bet on me. Let me see if I could get some money back along with some pride. Yeah, it looks like I'm proving myself to be a nice young lord. Yes, pay homage to me. Oh, you're a big fucker. Master Allard of Missing Heart. Don't worry, I'm placing a bet on myself. Yes, I'm winning. <laughs> I'm proving to everyone that I am, I am a great warrior. Alfred Hill. Uh, placing another bet on myself. Oh wow, I just laid you out of your ass for the first round. I won <laughs> tournament winner. Yes, okay. I'm glad that I uh, boosted the people's faith in me. Hey, that, that's all that matters at the end of the day, right? The people's faith. Still gonna like set up my holding. Oh, yes. Now many of them are uh, looking up to me with respect. Yes, I am young, but I, I can hold this kingdom together. I'm wait. I'll have to wait till Lady Eldira dies, and then maybe I could set something up with Prince Miles. Like maybe he could be my friend. Hmm. Who's there? Yeah. Now my vassals are starting to like me again. That's excellent. And while this is going on, the cultural acceptance, we gotta get five more percent so I could like fuse this with High Valerian. Sort of Craig Hall. You can get that position. Hopefully you guys become rivals. My sister came of age and she's a fortune builder. All right. All right, dear sis. Content zealot. So hopefully she'll be sitting around waiting to be wed in a ceremony at the Red Keep. Yeah, I'm gonna go to another tournament. This is just gonna help me boost my prestige as a young man. 
Those pistols don't want to be my friends. Well, he, he lives literally on the other end of the kingdom, so I'll, I'll let it go. I'm so glad, like, all of these, like, my vassals have just dumped a whole rack of gold into my bank. That's, that's exactly what I need. And I have to, like, rebuild everything. My cousin just got out of prison from somewhere. I'm gonna place a bet on myself. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, like, running the circuit on these tournaments. Mm-hmm. Also, you know what, instead of training up the levees, can you Let's see boost up our men at arms? Uh oh. Oh no, I almost fell on my ass. Okay, maybe I can knock him out. Oh my god, this is going back and forth. Yes! Laid you out. Alright, the Craig. Sure. I'll help you out there. Quincy, my uncle. You're you're a palpable rival for my dear father. This time around. Let's see how you do against me. Quincy on his ass first go around. Let's go. Yeah, that was for my father for vengeance. I won. Huzzah. Okay, let's go. Let me go to a feast. I'm, I'm now schmoozing around with a fiasco. Oh, we have twins. Lord Watkin and Danelia. Oh. My boy, yes. <laughs> my my one's precious son. Come on, convert this damn heathenistic place now. I want that all to be converted. Goodness. And actually, I'm going to wrap this video right here. I just realized what time it is, folks. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more. And when we return, well, 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 I'm going to try to, like, bulldoze my way to see if I can form a hybrid culture with Valerian. Because that is going to be epic if we do that. Yes, indeed. That will be epic. So I hope... Ooh. Okay, there we go. So I hope to see you guys again in the next video. This is Soul Supreme. And have a great day, folks. Now this one is pure niceness.